Alrighty, we are back for game number two between the Tampa Bay Lightning <clears throat> and the Montreal Canadiens. And let's just say, this one was honestly more in Montreal's favor. It, it really felt like Montreal should have won this game. And I was saying before the game on the Mark, Mordica Mark podcast with friends earlier today, I was saying that I feel like Montreal is going to win game two. I feel like they were going to get back and regroup. They were like this in the last series against Vegas. And they're going to come back and play really well. In game two. And they did. They couldn't get past Andre Vasilevsky. Uh, your goalies were Vasilevsky and Carey Price. Uh, Alex Kalorn was out. Matthew Joseph was in to replace him. Finally gets a game so people won't be won't be saying, Oh, Tampa carried you in the playoffs. You didn't even play a game. And uh, Joel Armia returned. He did play okay in this game, though. I'll say that much. Um, first off, there was a Suzuki chance that was stopped by Vasilevsky. And then there was a Goudreau shot that was saved by Price, which, by the way, Vasilevsky, man. He was insane in this game. Um, there was a penalty on Jeff Petrie for tripping, an elite Montreal penalty kill, which was elite this whole game. Um, in all honesty, I really think that the PK is back for Montreal. Um, they only lost it in the last game, but they you can't keep taking penalties. That's what's going to kill them in this series. Although it hasn't killed them yet, it will. Um, there was a penalty on Paul Byron for slashing then, uh, once that um, Petrie penalty um, ended. There was a point chance that went wide, a Kucherov shot that was stopped by Price, and that was a much riskier penalty kill, but nonetheless, it was a penalty kill for the Canadians. Uh, a Toffoli shot was stopped, a point shot was stopped, a Suzuki shot was stopped, um, pretty much all back and forth with each other. The Toffoli went down the other way and got stopped by Price. Point went down the other way, got stopped by Vasilevsky, or Vasilevsky, um, Price, I don't know, and then Suzuki went down the other way and got stopped by Vasilevsky. It's interesting how that series of events went down. Um, at, at Philip Denault, he took a high sticking, and it, I thought there was going to be no call and I was going to lose my mind, but no, they called it. They called it a double minor on Hedman for high sticking, uh, four on three for a minute and 41. And then there was a Suzuki shot that was stopped during that. And Montreal would get a 5-on-4 for a minute and 39 seconds in the second period. And it, ended up, it ended up getting killed off, though. And that sucked because Montreal needed a goal. And until probably around the end of the second period, they kept Tampa to eight shots on net before they erupted to, I think, about 25 to 30. They kept them on the board for a while, which was pretty impressive. And then just after that penalty kill, Anthony Sorelli scores <clears throat> uh, his fifth of the playoffs from Jan Rutta, and he makes it one nothing just like that. I have his rookie card, by the way. No, I know no one cares, but I have his rookie card. Um, that was the only the second Tampa Bay shot on goal in the second period. Yeah, that that's how much Montreal kept them off the board. Um, there was a Weber shot that was stopped by Vasilevsky. And then Sergachev got a penalty for interference off of just a, a look like a unnecessary Lekkonen shove that he had. Um, it, it just looked stupid. Like, why were you doing that? It, it doesn't make sense to me. And then Suzuki scores to tie the game. Uh, his sixth of the of the season or the playoffs, and it's during the power play, and it's one and it's one one. And that's kind of the tough thing too. The fact that they can only score on the power play, although they had like forty two shots in the game, is just Unbelievable. Um, a Sherrod shot was stopped by Vasilevsky. An Armia shot was denied. And then the Habs, I wrote this down a couple times. The Habs were just flat out outplaying the Lightning. Like, this was their game to win. And they didn't win it. And that's tough. I, I do believe they will win at least one game at home, though, before this series goes back to Tampa. And that could be it. So, I don't really know. Um, there was a deflected P Petrie shot that was stopped by Vasilevsky. And then Joel Armia got a penalty for high sticking. A point shot was stopped by Price. A Pat Maroon chance stopped, and it was killed off. Maroon, not really noticeable tonight with the uh, the physicality and the trash talk. Um, didn't really make a difference, but I thought that would be worth mentioning. And then with .3 seconds left, Blake Coleman scores a goal that he's very similarly scored last year's playoffs against the Boston Bruins in round two with the Tampa Lightning. A dive pass from Barclay Goudreau and Ryan McDonough to make it 2-1 to one with 0.3. 
just my love for Blake Coleman and my respect for Blake Coleman has gone up so much significantly in the past couple of years, especially in these past two years, watching him play with the Tampa Bay Lightning. It's just been so impressive and so entertaining. And that did it for the second period. And then right away in the third, a Coleman shot was stopped by Price. So right away, he's looking for his second of the game. And then Lekin in return for the third. He was out after that, um, the Sergachev interference call. Uh, didn't really make a difference. A Suzuki shot was stopped. An Anderson shot was stopped by Vasilevsky. A Perry shot was stopped by Vasilevsky. And then Andre Palat scores to make it 3-1. And that kind of put, that kind of just, it, it killed the Habs. And it, I said, I said clearly being outplayed, but doesn't matter. It's it's just interesting. And then I wrote this down too, because Pierre McGuire, Pierre McGuire, of course he was in there, not Brian Boucher. He had to ruin it. <laughs> he literally said, he literally said, oh, pull out the 208th draft pick out of college or something. I'm like, I don't care, Pierre. Just commentate. Like, and I pointed this out so many times in the past two rounds. Pierre, I don't care. I am so happy he didn't get a job for ESPN, and if I'm not mistaken, he didn't get one for TNT either. Thank God. And I remember that. I remember before he was like being opportunities in the GM job for the Coyotes, and I wanted to kill myself. I'm like, what? Are you on drugs? <laughs> I was like, it's like is Walter White giving you? Uh, is Jesse Pinkman selling you some meth? Like what? Breaking Bad reference. Okay. All right. Anyways, um. I was at one of my friends' house today, and like they had a they had a Walter White sticker on their fridge, and I wanted to point it out, but I was too nervous. Um, anyways, um, <laughs> um, and enough about my Breaking Bad obsession. Um, an Anderson shot was stopped by Vasilevsky, and then Montreal then pulled their goalie over the minute and 50 seconds left. A Strat shot was denied. It caused a scruffle, which when we get into our 2021-2022 terms to know from Nordic, scruffle will be one of them. Um, the Habs had a timeout with 48.7 seconds left, and Coffee had a shot that stopped by Vasilevsky. There was a fight at the buzzer, but it didn't change anything. And also, I thought I'd bring up this point too. In the past couple, in the past, um, however many years the NHL has existed, I think it's like 104 or something. Every team who has gone up two nothing in the season series has won the Stanley Cup 90% of the time. So, yeah, Montreal. I'm sorry, but Tampa may be getting back to back here. Uh, final score three to one in favor of Tampa. Uh, shots were forty three to twenty three in favor of Montreal. Forty three to twenty three. Yeah, Vasilevsky first star by a mile. Uh, power plays one for three Montreal, zero for three for Tampa, and hits were forty to thirty six in favor of Tampa. That's tough. That is honestly probably the toughest thing if you are. The Montreal Canadiens. Just, I don't know where you go from here. But anyways, um, this will be the final video of the game reviews here. Um, I'm going to my dad's for game threes, for games three and four. So that could be the last time we see, you see me here before um, the Stanley Cup's awarded. So, you know, I'm not going to get too ahead of myself. But yeah, that'll do it. Thank y'all for watching, for all your support on the channel as of late. And, you know, these... It's been kind of a rough day for me. These game reviews always put me in a good mood. Just watching hockey and making YouTube videos for all you beautiful people. And yeah, I'm going to go play some chill with my friends. And I'll see you guys in the next video.